Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm super, super happy to be here today on this powerful Monday, January 13th, 2020. Today's going to be an explosive day. I have something super special for you guys today. Um, you know, over the weekend, I was studying a lot and I was saying, okay, what do I want to, what do I want to show to the masses? What do I want to provide for my people this week? So I went ahead and started, you know, making the schedule for um, the week. If you can't hear me, try to, let me see. Sorry guys. I made the schedule for the, for the week and we're gonna have a lot of, a lot of impressive things. So I'm super, super happy. Um, what we're gonna do today is, me one second. What we're gonna do today, guys? What we're gonna do is we are going to we're gonna be speaking about something that we always use. You know, something that is very very powerful. We have it every single day, and it's super super essential for our success, right? And what I'm going to be speaking about today, guys, is the subconscious mind, right? So what is it about the subconscious mind that allows us to understand the next level of our life, the next level of our mind, the things that we really want to accomplish? You know, what, it, what is it that triggers that? You know, how can we really achieve that? And it's true. We can do it. We really can. So... Understanding, first of all, um, that most of this information, I'm directly getting it from the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You know, this book is incredible. Um, I've been studying it nonstop all over the weekend, and the value that I've been getting from this has been super, super impressive. So I highly, highly suggest you guys to pick it up. So... What we're going to be speaking about today, again, subconscious mind, one cannot entirely control the subconscious mind, you know? So what we do with the subconscious mind is understand that you can hand it over any plan, any desire, any purpose through the conscious mind, right? So through the conscious mind, we get to control the subconscious mind. It makes a lot of sense when you think about it because what is it that we want? You know, anything that we desire, we can really achieve it. You know, you have the conscious mind, some conscious things that we do, you know, speak, walk, run, anything physical, but there is the 2080 rule that, you know, in the book, it explains that the conscious mind, like I said, is the things you do by will. The conscious mind are the things that you are aware of what you're doing, right? The conscious mind is responsible for allowing you to read, run, for example, eat, work, you know, kiss somebody, you know, anything that's physical, anything that you command yourself to do, that's conscious, right? You're conscious. But the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind is where everything falls in, is where is the data banks. The subconscious mind is where you have all of this, you have all this knowledge of everything that has happened in your life, of everything that, you know, every person you see, you remember that, you remember that, but it's stored in the memory banks of the subconscious mind, right? You're not gonna at will think about that. You know, you ever get that feeling of deja vu or, oh, I remember this, when in reality, you really do remember it, but it's, it is in your mind, you just can't, you just can't think about it so clear, but it's in your subconscious mind. That's why you have that glimpse of that memory, you know? Subconscious mind, it stores and retrieves information, right? There is a way, you know, there is a way we can make this a superpower. And we do have superpowers, you know? That's the one thing I learned about Think and Grow Rich. Anything you put your mind to, anything that you desire, it can definitely, definitely, definitely come into reality, right? So understanding the difference between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind is that with the subconscious mind, with the subconscious mind, we can achieve, like I said, we can achieve anything. And now it doesn't know the difference of positivity, negativity. 
It doesn't know the difference between good and bad. But what we are responsible for doing is feeding our subconscious mind with the proper knowledge, with the proper meals, so that we can achieve anything we want. And how can we do that? How can we feed our mind the positive things, the right things, right? Um, a great way of doing this is by affirmations, right? Affirmations is one of the number one things that helps the, con the subconscious mind. Because when, when you're doing your affirmations, right, let's say every single day at 8 a.m., you're waking up, first thing you're doing is your affirmations. You know, what is an affirmation? An affirmation is when you wake up and you speak something into existence, right? But not simply speaking something into existence, but speaking that thing into existence with faith. Now you're understanding that whatever it is that your heart and your mind desires, it can become a reality. It can, right? So as long as you have faith in it, and you are patient, it will come to you because we were born with this, right? Understanding that you're saying, I am wealthy in abundance. If you're just saying, I am wealthy in abundance, you know, without any feeling behind it, most, most likely you won't be, you know? But now, if you, by faith, speak something into existence, you say, for example, I'm the best Street Fighter player in the world, but with full faith, you know, gradually that will come into play. Gradually, that's gonna start working. Gradually, you're gonna start seeing some of the things that are going to make you the best player in the world, right? Um, so some of the things um, that the subconscious mind does is it creates habits for you, you know? Some of the things that we do, some of the way, you know, the way we walk, the way we might prepare a meal, the, the way our accent is, that's all subconscious mind. You know, these are all things that are stored in the memory banks, as, you know, like I said. And we can't really control these things. I mean, we can because we can control anything we want. But by habit, if we're not breaking those habits and not creating new ones, plant, planting new habits into our subconscious mind, we're still going to be the same, right? So a great way to have um, a powerful subconscious mind is by developing faith. All right, like I said, when you're doing your affirmations, you want to you want to speak with faith. If you want whatever it is that your heart desires, if it whatever it is that you want, whatever you think about, whatever you want to grow into, think about it with full faith. And you know, like I like I was explaining last week, faith is something that faith is something that you need to enter deep into your mind to really understand. Faith is something that I can't sit here and explain to you because my faith is completely different than yours. But what I can tell you is that your faith is deep in, deep within your mind. You can, ex you can access it whenever you want, but you're gonna have to sit down, concentrate, and understand that there is a possibility. Belief is faith. Knowing that something is gonna happen. Lack of fear is faith. You know, because if you have fear that you're not gonna get that job, you know, at your job interview tomorrow, then most likely you won't get it. You know, so if you have faith, if you have confidence, if you know by will that you will get that job and all the faith in the world, you're going to get it. It's, just, it's simply that's how it works. That's simply how it works, right? So understand that you need faith. You need faith in order to have a powerful subconscious mind. You need to create as many, as many, as many possible positive habits as, as you can. Create these positive habits, you know, wake up early. What are you doing when you wake up, right? Your subconscious mind, it takes track of two, um, two times during the day, which are the two pivotal times during the day, which is when you wake up, you know, the first five minutes of you being awake is the most, fi the, the most important five minutes of your day. You know, the first five and the last five. Those first five minutes really determine how your day is going to go. If you wake up and, you know, you get out of bed, I've tried, I've tried both ways. You get out of bed fast, you know, you do what you have to do, you get ready, you know, you want to tackle this day. This is definitely going to play a huge role into your day. This is definitely going to pay a difference from any other day that you've spent. Why? Because as soon as you woke up, you have this determination, you have this gladiator spirit that you just want to dominate and you want to do things the right way, right? You're praying when you wake up, you're doing your affirmations, you know, you're, you're connecting with your spiritual self, with your mental self. Once you start doing that, once you start connecting with yourself, 
Because guys, what I'm really trying to preach to you today is how to become closer with yourself and the subconscious mind is the main principle of that. Did you guys know that the subconscious mind is 80% of our brain, 80%. So what that's telling me is that my conscious mind is only 20%. And it makes a lot of sense because I am who my mind tells me I am, right? The subconscious mind, right, at 80% frequency does everything, everything, everything. It, it contains all those memory banks, those skills, right? You know, that muscle memory, that's the subconscious mind. All these things that you knew how to do as a child, that recipe that you're never going to forget how to make, these are all things stored in your subconscious mind, right? So in order to train the subconscious mind, in order to make sure that we have a healthy subconscious mind, we need to make sure that when we are conscious, like right now, you guys are conscious. When we are conscious, we are doing the right things to feed our mind. Some of those things, like I said, are affirmations, personal development, you know, reading, writing, speaking to yourself. These are things, guys, that are going to amplify your mind. These are things that are going to take you to the next level. And once you take advantage of this grand power that you guys have within you, you guys are going to see that it's, it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. But once you unlock the secrets of your mind within yourself, guys, you guys are going to unleash a completely new level, right? I mean, I can sit here and tell you to rethink and grow rich as much as you want, but like I've read it almost twice now and I'm still figuring out how to use my subconscious mind to the, ma to the maximum. You know, it definitely is a, it's a process, right? It's a process where you have to continue. You cannot stop, right? There have been days where I don't want to be persistent. There have been days where I don't want to be consistent. There have been days where it's easier to stay in than instead of going out, waking up at five, instead of doing my morning rituals. Sometimes I don't want to get out of bed, but these are the challenges that we are faced with. These, this is the balance. Now, if I was always motivated, if I always wanted to do, you know, these affirmations, the right thing, everything would be easy. There would be no challenge, but in order to challenge the subconscious mind, we must, you know, we must take control. We must take things into our own hands and that, you know, when we start putting that in our mind, we're going to say, okay, look, now I'm someone who doesn't give up. So the more you grind, the less you are, you know, able to give up. The more you grind, you're going to see better results. The more you stay consistent, the more that's going to become you. The more you stay disciplined, the easier that habit is going to get, right? If you say, I'm going to go to the gym four times a week for nine months straight. I assure you that the eighth month is going to be easier than the first month. Why? Because you have created a positive habit. You have commanded your subconscious mind to wake you up at a specific time. I'm sure you guys have woken up before your alarm clock before, right? I, mean, I was speaking to my brother, Kevin Turan, um, a few weeks ago, and he was telling me like, yo, bro, you know, it's crazy because I have been waking up before my alarm clock and I have gotten to this level where, you know, it's very, very difficult to explain. But what, you know, what Kevin really did was he trained his subconscious mind. He trained his body and his mind and his soul to wake his body up at a specific time. What does this mean? What this means is that Kevin is in control. Kevin knows what's going to happen. Kevin understands the power he has within right? So once he applied that discipline and once he applied everything he had, took that to the next level, he maximized his day, right? You're waking up at 6 a.m. better than waking up at 10 a.m. You know, you got, you got those extra hours that the other person doesn't have. And let me guys, let, let me tell you guys from experience, when you wake up earlier, you're going to get more done. You're going to feel like your day is more accomplished. So that's a, that's a really, really powerful one. Another thing about the subconscious mind, guys, is that the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind is the most powerful, the most powerful weapon you guys have, right? Understand that. That is the most powerful weapon you guys have. So how can you strengthen it? How can you strengthen it? Right? Understand that once you look up, you know, ways to get better, ways to enhance. You know, I, I've read some incredible things and thinking grow rich. And they might seem outrageous to the regular person. Um, Patricia says, hi guys. 
they might seem outrageous to the regular person, but they're so possible, you know. Once you just stay consistent with everything you want to do. And another reason why I've been wanting to do these calls so much to, for you guys is because this is something I want to stay consistent in. You know, this is something that I have value. I have so much value. You know how many people wish they had finished this book? There's so much value in here. And the thing is, guys, that once you guys continue, once you guys don't stop, once you guys keep going, even if you don't want to, that's going to really shift the mentality you have. And I mean, you guys that are here tonight, you guys all have a powerful mentality. I can say that for myself, you know? So once you guys understand that the shift, the shift in the mentality, you know, from that powerful, powerful mentality that you already have is possible, you guys can forget about it. Success is, in, is inevitable. Success is definitely coming. You know, 2020 is a powerful year. 2020, I highly challenge you guys to, you know, work on the subconscious mind, take the subconscious mind to new heights. If we could use 80% of it, you know, why not use 90%? You know, like, let's take our mind to the next level. Let's take our conscious mind to the next level and our subconscious mind to the next level. Because these two powerful variants are going to determine how you're going to spend your days, how are you going to react to things, right? The patience you build by training your subconscious mind the confidence you build by training your subconscious mind. Guys, this, this is serious. You know, this is the most powerful weapon you guys have. And it's at your disposal at every, every single time. You know, you guys can do everything you want. Like, it's that real, man. It's really that real. So, you know, I've spoken things into existence, little things, big things. And through the power of faith, through the power of consistency, and through the power of discipline, they have all came into reality. So, Gentlemen, I want to do a quick prayer. Um, just thank you. Oh, I love you too, my brother. I want to do a quick prayer for you guys uh, because I definitely believe that 2020 has some powerful, powerful things for every single one of you. I definitely believe that we are going to take it to the next level. We're going to work in different aspects of our lives. We're going to work in the same aspects, you know, of our lives. We're going we're gonna to collaborate and we're going to really take it to the next level, you know, by showing support to each other. And by continuing to grind every single day of 2020, not stopping, you know, these numbers right now, you know, we have a little bit of people on these live calls, but the vision that I have, it's greater than that, you know, it's greater than that. Now, understanding that by faith, I know that by the end, you know, of this year, these numbers are going to literally multiply themselves a hundred times, you know, like it's that, it's that real guy. So I want to thank you guys. I want to do a quick prayer. So thank you so much, God, for allowing these guys to be on this call tonight. God, allow the minds and the subconscious minds of these gentlemen and the ladies that are going to see this video later on on YouTube get amplified to the next level, get blessed in abundance. Bless these gentlemen and these ladies. Allow them to really reach that peak of the mentality, of the spiritualness of their mind. Help them reach that enlightenment so that we can take 2020 to the next level. Thank you so much, God, for being so faithful with us, so patient with us, and so powerful. In the powerful, kind name of Jesus, amen. Thank you so much, brothers. I love you guys. You guys are extraordinary. Let's take 2020 to the next level, and let's do this.